covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. A new paper published by Disney Research describes a fully automated neural network-based method for swapping faces in photos and videos, the first method that results in high-resolution results of sufficient quality to be used in film and TV. The researchers specifically intend this tech for use in replacing an, an existing actor's performance with a substitute actor's face, for instance, when de-aging or increasing the age of someone, or potentially when portraying an actor who has passed away. They also suggest it could be used for replacing the faces of stunt doubles in cases where the conditions of a scene call for them to be used. This method is unique from other approaches in a number of ways, including that any face used in the set can be swapped with any recorded performance, making it possible to relatively easily re-image the actors on demand. The other is that it recreates contrast and lighting conditions to ensure the actor looks like they are actually present in the same conditions as the scene. You can check out the results for yourself in this video. As you can see, there's still a hint of uncanny valley going on here, but the researchers acknowledge that in their paper, calling this a major step toward photorealistic face swapping that can successfully bridge the uncanny valley. It is still a lot more realistic than other attempts, which is especially apparent when you've seen the side-by-side -side comparisons with other techniques. Most notably, it works at much higher resolution, which is key for actual entertainment industry use. Considering the example of using this technique for a stunt double, the realis realism could come across as being incredibly realistic. The examples presented are a super small sample, so it remains to be seen how broadly this can be applied. The subjects used appear to be primarily white, for instance. Also, there's always the question of the ethical implication of any use of face swapping technology, especially in video, as it could be used to fabricate credible video or photographic evidence of something that didn't actually happen. Given, however, that the technology is now in development from multiple quarters, it's essentially long past the time for debate about the ethics of its development and exploration. Instead, it's welcome that organizations like Disney Research are following the academic path and sharing the results of their work so that others concerned about its potential malicious, malicious use can determine ways to flag, identify, and protect against any bad actors.